Good to go. I assume we're good to go, right? Yeah. Audio's good. Everything's good. Go! Welcome! Welcome, bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just doing some quick checks real quick. Hold on. God, bro loves announcing he's fucking going to sleep. Then just go to sleep, man. You don't have to keep announcing it. Fuck, we know. Alright, so. Uh, we'll just be going, like, straight... Straight forward. Because we are going to continue... To make our way to the ECL route. Because, fuck, man. Block! What you mean? What'd I do? I was late, I know. Yeah, Anna, yeah. I want to yell at you. You... Thank you. You honestly, you said it to me like. You said at like three, you at three p.m. You said you were going to sleep, and now you're saying it constantly. Bro, we get it. Thanks for that, Kumi. That's pretty good. Right, bro, we get it. You're going to sleep, man. You sleep. <laughs> Stop announcing it. Damn. Shut up, Kumi. But I woke up. The boy is announcing you're going back to sleep again. <laughs> why, are you, why are you still announcing it? Alright, alright, I'll play the game. I walked down the long slope. I always took the train from the Arima house to Soy Station. So it's my first time going to school by this route. I feel like a new student. Even though only my route has changed. This is a local service announcement. This is a local service announcement. I'm going to fuck the fuck to bed. I thought you were saying you're going to fuck the bed. I got concerned. It seems like only a few people from this neighborhood attend Sawyer High School. It's 7 30 in the morning. You talk to throw your glasses on the floor and step on it. I don't have glasses. See you never. I'll see you tomorrow. I jog down the street. I don't spot anyone else wearing a school uniform. Bro's gonna miss out on Ark. I'm in. I went to the south side of the station yesterday. The north side is crowded with commuter commuters. There are white collar employees in suits hurrying this way and that. Just like always. Now seal your eyes? Oh. The disturbing news of recent events seem to have had no effect on them. Either that, or they. Do feel a little uneasy, but still not enough for them to deviate from their daily routine. Either way, she hasn't changed. Marihiko said that he avoids going out at night, but I guess not everyone can trust to follow their instincts as he does. I keep going past the station into the residential district. I found him blindfolded by like Gojo, fuck's sake. But he's not blind though, he just does it to limit his powers. Nerd. Stop! Man. The only people I see on the street now are students in school uniforms. I check my phone and see that I have 5 minutes left before the school gates close. 
Not wanting to be late, I run down the asphalt road, keep an eye on for cars. Bro's fucking... what's it called again? He's illegally crossing, illegally crossing the street. Get his ass. This I told Hisui, took me about 30 minutes to reach the school gates from the mansion. I ran a couple of times along the way, so if I want to head to school at a leisurely pace, I should leave the mansion before 7.30. Hooray! There's no sign of Arihiko in the classroom. It seems like he really did come to school early yesterday on a whim. Head to my desk, greeting the classmates I'm friends with along the way. This for many couple of minutes before Moon starts to sit in my chair and check my phone. Find this morning's news. Scan through the school bulletin board, created by a group of young teachers, and the anonymous student bulletin board, created by a group of volunteers. Who's the nerd now, bro? Fuck it. Hit you. I'll hit you with my hollow purple. I'll hit you with my hollow purple. Nerd ass comment, bro. Nerd comment. Nerd alert. I can't believe this. There aren't any threads that catch my attention. I look up and see that most of the students in the classroom are spending their time the same way. Teachers who are over 30 say that today's students seem to have no friends in real life. Shut the fucking geek loose. <laughs> oh man. Of course, that's an outdated misconception. One that's unique to people from the previous generation. It's just that dependence on the internet and dependence on friends in front of you have become equivalent. It's not like the people in our class don't get along. School used to be a place where you could only make friends inside the classroom. There was little connection to the outside world. It's different now. You can find as many friends as you want. The atmosphere in the classroom doesn't have to be homey. As long as it's not unpleasant, it's fine. I agree. Base comment. Thanks to how sophisticated the internet's become, the knowledge gap between generations has narrowed. We have some people who accumulated more material goods than others, we seem to have even out in terms of lifestyles. I don't say that we lack enthusiasm, dreams, and hope, but that's just the way it is. Well, it's a lot smaller these days. Even elementary school students know how closed, and closed in our society has become. That's why it's getting harder and harder to dream about the future. To accept the world through one's own filter. Philosophical Shiki. That's what sharing knowledge is all about. The way a library of knowledge expands, the smaller and smaller will be the lives of the individuals who browse it. In the past, humans aimed for the horizon to fill in the unknown. Now there's no need to do so. There's no need to go anywhere. People are as free as they can be, but they also have no reason to step out of their narrow boxes. And that's what the depression sent depressing sense of being trapped in classrooms, schools, and cities is all about. But hey, Despite how much I've been prattling on with this pretentious analysis, it's ultimately all just my own thoughts. I don't feel like I'm trapped. I don't feel like I'm closed in, fatigued, or dissatisfied with society. Not at all. All I have is a natural desire to enjoy each and every day as much as possible. Honestly, this is the most nerd cheeky ever. Like, bro, shut the fuck up, nerd. <laughs> Actually, nerd behavior, cheeky Jesus. It would be a mistake for such a simple-minded person to talk about the complications of society. Analysis, bro, fuck it. <laughs> this pretentious analysis, bro, shut up. <laughs> pretentious analysis, Yoshiki, I hate you. Oh, uh, he's one of my favorite MCs of all time, I fucking hate him. The homeroom bell rings, interrupting my contemplation. Mm. The students who are milling around chatting return to their seats. Put my phone away and refocus. Ugh. The second day since I returned to the Tona residence, and school is about to start. It's been three minutes since homeroom started. Toyama sensei's his replacement hasn't arrived yet. The classroom is buzzing and order is breaking down. To be more specific, students are all over the place. Everyone in the class is of the mindset that if we're going to be left alone, we might as well just mess around until the first period starts. One more minute, we'll give it just one more minute. 
But as we were coming to an unspoken agreement to do whatever we wanted once that minute was up, the door swings open. Hi, Minasan, Shizukani, Shizukani. You know, I forgot. Home room, I, I don't know how I did, but I forgot. Lively. Yeah! Yeah, I forgot. Yeah! Yeah, I forgot. Guat! Yo, Guat's my favorite new word. Giat? Nah, get that. Guat. That's my kind of word. The lively atmosphere in the room instantly settles down. The teacher walked into the classroom with someone I've never seen before. I mean, she's clearly not even Japanese. And she looks more like a university student than a teacher. Not who you'd expect at all. I can't lie. Fuck Jesus. Every time I look at this design, it's just like. Yeah, it really is just. Yeah. Damn. That is. Goodness. Jesus. Alright. Listen, all. Bro. <laughs> like, I forgot what's- I forgot the artist's naming who does all the Tsukihime designs and all that. I forgot his name. Takuichi, I think it is, right? I think I- I'm not 100% sure again, but like, bro. He cooked with this design. Holy shit, he cooked. Yeah, damn. Or Gua, damn. He cooked. Takuchi, yeah, okay, so that was correct. Yeah, bro, fucking cooked. Bro, fucking cooked with this Noel, with Noel's design. God damn. I frown. Isn't that reference also a bit, also a bit dated? Takashi Takuchi, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah. And then he read. He doesn't seem to bother her. In a carefree attitude. The mysterious woman gets up behind the podium and clears her throat deliberately. But the more the face, right? I do remember doing more. He does most of fate stuff. Yeah, I do remember that because of, well, saber fits. But yeah, he fucking. Damn. He, f dude, this design is. Damn. Damn. What did you mean taboo word? What do you... What? D A jumble of crashing and banging sounds echo for the classroom. The sound of the boys as they unconsciously rose from their chairs after receiving a wink from Noel Sensei. I have to admit, I'm a little taken in as well. It's not like she's exceptionally beautiful or anything. But because of that, because of that, there's this... Hmm, like... sense that she's still within our reach to get your hopes up. Maybe because she's only slightly older than us? Hmm. She's just overflowing with some kind of indescribable charm. Basically, what I'm getting... What I'm getting at is that she has this something to her. Similar to a fluffy... Marangui. That's what I said, Marangui. Which is not to disrupt the desires of any high school boy. I'll clap. Same. I'll clap. I clapped. Immediately, a barrage of questions erupt from the boys. I'm the well man, bro. I'll still clap for her. I said I'll clap. I didn't say clap how. I said clap. I said what? I said I'll clap, as in I'll clap my hands for you. That's what I meant, bro, relax. I'll clap my hands for you. 
I'm gonna go clap my hands. Relax. These topics are usually discussed in an anon anonymous forum. The guys who were hit by a wink couldn't even wait for that. Okay, exactly, bro. Like, relax. I'll get a I'll get in your way with Hisui, but Noel, you you got her, bro. The girls stare at them cold with a gaze that says, "Boys are pathetic." But the feverish boys couldn't care less about the scorn of their fed-up classmates. He cooked. え、年齢はどうせ女子の皆さんが暴いちゃうだろうから行っちゃうと25歳。住まいは2人きとなりの賃貸マンション。好きなタイプは大人の頭の文系男子。趣味は日曜教会でお手伝いをしています。隣町の
The ones left in the classroom are... A group of girls sing Kalina Yumizuka. Now, where should I have lunch? Which one did I pick last time? Number two. Okay. I picked number two, so... It's... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Is there a... Need to pick three. Okay, I was about to ask, is there a CL choice here? Okay. Okay, uh, number three it is. I'll figure it out in the hallway. Ah! As soon as I step into the hallway, I run into a familiar upperclassman. What? What? Bro, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Listen, alright, it's fine, because I already got to talk to her once, alright? It's good. I already talked to her once, it's fine. Wait, there's a... What? There's another choice? What? What the hell? Finally! New dialogue! Uh, uh, I think she likes me, bro. Hold on. Just me? I think she likes me. See, I if I try to talk to me, a broad smile on her face. Oh, you. あ、はあ。はあ。捕まえに来たってですか。I don't see many students around with time on their hands, but if would make the time sent by invited them out somewhere. Heck, there'd be a queue. Anyway, putting that aside. 先輩。2年生の教室に来ちゃダメですよ。上級生なんだから。誘うなら 3年のクラスメイトを誘ってください。その方が会話も弾むでしょう。マメンカナットゲットテイクトヘン。そうなんですけど、今日は年下の男の子とお話がしたい気分なんです。なんとなくなので、理由は聞かないでください。That sounds weird. Is it just me or does that sound weird? I feel like talking to a younger boy today. Bro, that sounds kind of sus. Is that just me? That's probably just me. That's, that sounds kind of weird. She speaks. Somebody quickly close the distance between us. <laughs> no, stop! Hey! I know that's why I was hinting at something in that section, but you have to say it. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't... If it was Sia, wouldn't it be EDD? It wouldn't be EDP, it'd be EDD. 445S. It'd be E double D and then 4545. Actually. Honestly, this sounds like the greatest event ever. <laughs> um, actually. Um, stop, bro. I was just making a point. I mean, she could be EDP. She could be actually. Shut up. She could be EDP. I mean, if she swings that way. That sounded a bit. That sounded a bit weird at first. I thought it was gonna. It was not gonna say your time. I was gonna say something else. <laughs> I'm sort of serving of you. Like, huh? What are you talking about? A smile on her face. She took softly on my sleeve. She's definitely no. She she leaves the cat. Do not leave the cat alone. It's such an insignificant gesture, but it carries a mysterious caution. How the fuck do I say that word? Hey, yo, anybody give me the dictionary real quick? How do I say this word? Is it caution? No, that's, that doesn't sound right, is it? Fuck the city is what? Nasrin, your fucking words, man. God, Nasrin, your big thesaurus.com words. 
coercion. Coercion. All right, but it gives some mysterious coercion that I feel hardly powerless to resist. Per, so, <laughs> per, so, no. Yo, I'd love to voice in the Persona game. I won't lie. I would be terrible, but I'd love to. We go out to the courtyard. Autumn is beginning to strengthen its hold over the weather. Even though the sun is out, it's a little chilly. Only students eating lunch in the courtyard, and in spite of that, are those that appreciate the elegance of the place. Senpai seems to be among them. Persona. Yeah, I know. Her. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody skips over to one of the benches and sits down. I follow her example, taking a seat next to her at a respectful distance. So, what is the the Crab cream croquette rolls? What the fuck? They really did have a delicacy like that on the menu. Back in the day. It was so expensive that they were discontinued after the first week. But a lot of students are still holding on hope. Holding out hope they'll make a comeback. <laughs> well, you see. Somebody's positively beaming as she places the paper bag in her lap. Reaching inside, she pulls out four stuffed buns. Authentic bread! Let's fucking go! Also, this is a great art. This is a great piece of art. Holy. That looks great. The objects threatening to spill from her hand are stout, oval shaped buns. The outside has been fried to a crisp, dark brown. It still glistens with oil. All four of them appear to be the exact same size and shape. They are, beyond a shadow of a doubt, freshly fried curry buns. The background characters don't, yeah, the background characters look kind of ass, but this art piece of this art for CL, this CL art looks great. I love it. it looks pretty. It looks, uh, it looks cute. あ、はい。どうぞ、トノ君。特別に半分お分けしますから、遠慮なく。トノ君いや、あの、先輩、これさ。それ、カーボンステイサーって why? I got a victory out just from sitting in a car, yo pog. Also, this is a great oh, this is a great screenshot. <laughs> Why? That's a great screenshot, just why? Tamamo and Oberon are a date are dating at Olive Garden? Yo, good for them, bro. Good for them. What does she mean? What does she mean? Why? I don't know what to say to that. Are you sure you're from Earth and this doesn't make you happy? Look, I I have to read. What does she mean? Why? I don't know what to say to that. Are you sure you're from Earth and this doesn't make you happy? Look, she's giving me. You like spicy food? For some reason, I specifically avoid asking, do you like curry? え、もう、あ、でも辛ければ好きというわけではなくてですね。特定の味付けが大変美味しく感じるというか。そうですね。いくら好きでも4つ全部同じ味というのはちょっと考えなしでしたね。Good. At least she seems to understand that it's slightly strange behavior. 
Failure. I pick up one of the curry buns spread out on Senpai's lap and bring it to my mouth. Bro, did she like caress her lap just to take the bun? Like, damn. What do you mean, like, took it from her lap? Bro. Maybe you should take one that's not in her lap? I don't eat this kind of food very often. So it's a welcome change. I used to avoid fried buns because of their high oil content. Very tasty if enjoyed in moderation. She'll be fine, bro. Oh, she didn't know. Hmm. Uh... Going to be running around later, wouldn't you want to eat something a little easier to digest? I'm not entirely sure what she's basing her logic on here. That's fair. Yeah. That's a great frame, give it that. That's a great frame, give it that shit. Bro, <laughs> where did you come from? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> WS! <laughs> Ashihiko, where did you come from? <laughs> Bro, stole a curry bun! <laughs> no! <gasps> it's the one that a senpai is surprised. I don't know why he managed to sneak up behind us. But he suddenly snakes an arm out from behind the bench, brazenly snatches up one of the curry buns and downs it in one bite. Just woke up? What are you? Oh. Burp. Okay. Oh, Ariko guaffs heartily. This guy saw me and Siasa about to get her and snuck up on us. Ariko, you I was getting it on pretty well with CL Senpai on my own here, buddy. Come on. ぬけがけはなしですよ、客さん。一人で美味しい目見ようったってそうはいかねえ。うん。つうから he has quite the convenient memory. Guys, can we listen? Hold on, can we listen to it again real quick? Will it show up here or? No, I won't. Alright. I just, I just want to listen to it again real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Fucking Wario ass laugh. Actually, Wario laugh, damn. He has quite the convenient memory. すみません、先輩。うちのクラスの馬鹿が失礼を働きました。こんなことを言ってますけど、昨日は一応役に立ったんで同席させて先輩。ちょっとけ、I <laughs> Well, if he lasts like Wario, I sure hope he knows how to play like Wario from Smash. Oh no. <laughs> uh, buddy's dead. CL? Could you not murder your fellow classmates? Please. <laughs> run, man, run! You're dead! 
Sipai has leapt nimbly at her feet and adopted a fighter stance. Her left jab cuts through the air with a whoosh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. You just amateurs, it's cut this is flawless shadow boxing. She tricking <laughs> She tricking it. I wish that was me down there, man! Huh? It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. Shockwaves from her face are making her look bigger. Shit! That's not my fault, man! Say what the fuck are you trying to quit? Not buzz! I didn't do nothing, man! Stop! I promise myself away from the clinging, stupid. Stupid Hiko! We have a new nickname! Stupid Hiko! <laughs> oh, we have a new nickname for him now, let's go. Asihiko, we have Arihiko, Asihiko, Stupid Hiko, let's fucking go. New nickname, boys, let's go. Somebody write this shit down, hold on. <laughs> there we go, Stupid. Stupid Hiko. <laughs> My man is Bro, what bro is actually just fucking talking. What are you talking about? You made it worse. She's got a point. <laughs> Ariko sprints away at top speed. That was fucking good. That was funny, man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. See, if I sits back down on the bench as if nothing had happened. Yeah. Someone get his reboot gun. <laughs> it's dead! Man down! Oh god, he got Fortnite dance done! Fuck! She, she busted him up, no, we're good now. Alright, alright. Yeah, bro, you could at least, like, said thanks for the food and, you know, enjoyed it. True. She shrugs her shoulders hopelessly and crumbles a complaint, very befitting of an upperclassman. It's a quick little bust before No Nut November. Bro, you know no one's partaking in that, right? We're not we we're not doing that no more. Nothing serious. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh hold on. Is Sia my favorite already? Hold on. Is is, is this my is this my favorite already? No way. Oh. That was pretty funny. That made me laugh. G oh. Arika returns about five. After about five minutes. His hand seats carrying two bulging paper bags. What do you. You think she's a dog? I see. She must have really scared him back then. Oh, there must have been a fear that only the person who was being targeted could feel. Ask bro how? Fair. Hi,先輩。さっきの謝罪とお昼を一緒にする袖の下す。これはこれはご丁寧にありがとうございます。There you go, uh, stupid Hiko. どうぞ、イネ君。ベンチの方に。私は立っていますから。No, she gonna stand. Fuck. 何言ってんすか。先輩は座っててください。
Oh, hell no. He's gonna sit down and make her stand up? We had such a fun time, bro. Fuck! God damn it. We were having such a fun time, bro, and then he stepped in. Drink boy, you spin. Oh. SS, yeah, let's say. Oh. God, I'm gonna need that drink command a lot tomorrow. Fuck no. How's it doing? Katawa Shoujo. Fuck, that's gonna be a lot of reading. Holy shit. I literally won't be able to get a break. Christ. I'm doing nothing but reading. Jesus. I also gotta remember the voices. Not the voices I gave, because I don't fucking remember, dude. Oh, she's not high handed. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Simple or he could laugh together. I want to object, but I'm afraid I'll end up bringing up bringing unnecessary trouble upon myself, so I stay silent. And so, North Korea bun steadily dwindles. I would like to correct my earlier comment about croquettes on a plate. The amount of fried buns is now being consumed as easy as a light snack. There are less than 20 minutes left before the end of lunch. What will be the fate of these curry buns? Alright. Our conversation but continues right up until the end of our, right up until the end of the lunch break. Ariko and I would talk about stupid things. Yes, I would give her opinion, and then the conversation would start all over again. We are also running out of curry buns. Such a purpose less an extremely ordinary moment passes like flowing sand. Right, to make sure his headache sits in, he didn't eat anything. And of course you are. No. Arika runs off to the infirmary, seemingly fully intent on skipping afternoon class as well. やれやれ。注意するべきなんでしょうけど、不思議と居ない国には甘くなってしまいますね。これも人徳なのでしょうか。ええ。必要最低限のことはきっちりこなしてますからね。事故の不始末は自分で片付けるやつだし。いや。先
conflict between the boys who were delirious with mouth fever and the girls who were down coldly on the whole affair, they didn't even pause for lunch. Their battle seems to spill over into tomorrow. On the other hand, which one didn't catch the mouth fever were praised by the girl girls group, but branded as the impotent, traitorous, and inappropriately fond of little girls by the boys' group. The whole thing seems rather silly. Well, oh. Even so, I don't understand why everyone's so crazy about her. Talking beauty. If we're talking beauty, Akira is way more. Oh, I did that. I took the ice kick. Speak of the devil. There's the very woman at the heart of all this commotion. Hara, could you cut a shin so them hockey dust on a common on a man? Nanika. What was she could cook with Oculon? I mean, you could say your sister's pretty, or your sister's beautiful. Like, I mean, this is a fine comment, like... Akia and Noelle, I mean, comparing the two... Yes, Akia is certainly more beautiful. In, like, a neutral sense. Yeah, she's more beautiful in a neutral sense. Because, like, you look at Noelle... Beautiful is not the word that comes to mind. The word that comes to mind here is cute or mysterious, right? Cute or mysterious. You don't think beauty when you see Noel, I'd assume. When you see Akia, that's like, that's what beauty looks like. That's something beautiful. Damn, she's beautiful. Anyway, tangent. Yeah. But I do understand, girl, why you. Why I do understand, that line does seem kind of like, wait a minute, oh, Shiki, what are you talking about? It's <laughs> one of the guilt of preparing the lesson to Akia, do my best to <clears throat> calmly change the subject. However, she smiles like, an, she, smiles like she can see right through me. Noel-sensei. <laughs> Uh, I would not say Noel's a sundere. That's not that. That's not what the term means at all. Actually, that that's not Noel at all. Akia, uh. Sundere to who? I mean, she'll praise Shiki when he's do when he does something correct, and belittle him when he does something wrong. And if he says something stupid, she'll get flustered. I mean, that seems about normal to me. And Sundere is more relation to love interest than like brother and sister. To be fair, I'm gonna hit with the am actually again. Fuck's sake, I'm doing the nerd thing again. God. You don't know yet? Well, I know this. Just don't know yet. Alright, man. Bro, what do you. Noel. I, I keep forgetting. The Noel is just. Police! Hey! Police! Like, bro. Stop. Police! Help! Bro. Let him think that. Alright, Kumi. This happened to you. Would you go with the flow? This happened to you. Would you go with the flow? I'm being sincere when asking this question. Say, say, say what you want to say. That's all I'm asking. Say what you want to say. I'm asking you. Hell yeah! There you go. <laughs> Is it my nerves? Or the magic of the setting sun? The voice slips into my ear. Not from the front, but from right behind me. As if she were whispering directly to me. 
そう警戒しないでただ指と指を重ねるだけ体温を伝えるだけ私の体を預けるだけ I'll give her one thing she's the queen of foreplay cause god damn is she good at it そうあなたに私を食べてもらいたいだけ Also, this, the, the VA is crushing. She's crushing it. Breathing comes closer. My legs tangle together. I have her arm around my back. I start to block my escape. For me, I see the strangely captivating, smooth neck of a woman. だから忘れてあなたを忘れて邪魔なものは全部取ってしまえばいいその建前もそのメガネも It's something I do A part of recourse with fear Simple as the Simple as the thought of seeing 新任記念の冗談でしたボイスジョークアヴァルシン日本風に言うとちょっとしたスキンシップじゃなくて名刺交換うんどっちにしてもまだまだ形だけの付き合いってことね私たち冗談ってモエル先生 You're all you are two steps away from being the next EDP bro I don't think that's the right word for what just happened. I love that joke. Please do it again. I love that joke. Do it again. It's going way too far for a joke. Especially when you consider she's a teacher. そもそも用は何なんですか俺を探してたような口ぶりでしたけどああ、それはもういいのちょっと手伝ってもらいたいことがあっただけそれももう終わったわそれじゃあ、さようならしきくん That's kind of dark the way you said that. What is this that waves her hand as she walks away? I can't stop thinking about what she just said. Um, what did we pick last time? I think we asked about the sensei, right? Yeah, last week we asked about senses. I guess we'll just pick the other one. We'll just give up on it. You know, that's. You know, last time we picked to ask. But this time we'll just give up on it, because. It's what we haven't picked yet. Unless you guys still want to pick. Do you guys still want the choice? Or do we just go with number two? First comment decides the fate of this damn choice. First comment decides. Two? You got it. Ah, you want the first comment, Saki. Game. You want the first one. Damn, bro. That chat till I got you. I cast my eyes down at the ground. I said to look away from the ominous premonition. I I literally said first comment gets the choice, bro, and you were slow. This is fine. It's better not to ask unnecessary questions. The less you know, the better. The pleasant news will only serve to aggravate the scar on my chest. My sensei smirks, so she can see right through my cowardice and leaves. <laughs> Get better, sucker. I leave the school. The left side of my neck hurts slightly, almost as if I were scratched by someone or something. I don't have anything to do, so I'll... There's a third option? Wait, do we pick something here important? Is there something important here? Or what did we pick last time? We picked two last time, so I guess I'll just pick one. Two. But we already did two. Why would we do that? We already did it once. I mean Don't go. Do 
choose one. Right, this was right, right, right. This was try to go to Satsuki, the Satsuki restaurant. Right. Yeah, so this should be new, right? Yeah, let's make sure that that's new. So if I go back, are both new? Let's go check. Yes. Uh, I guess I'll do pull. Okay, I guess I'll do pull then. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll do pull then. Okay, okay, okay. Because they're both new. Yeah, okay, yeah. Since both are new, we'll do a poll. Alright, hold on. Let's go back. Uh, both are new, so we'll do. Uh, we'll make. We'll do. We'll make it fair. I forgot since we didn't. We don't have the Tatsuki option. Right, 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 right. So we'll. Make, I'll make it fair and do a poll. I'll be. I'll make it fair and we'll do a poll. 50 50? Oh shit. No way. That means it's gonna be a coin flip if it stays this way. <laughs> oh shit, one! Kumi's fighting to not go home, bro. I don't like home. What? 50 again? Whoa! That's so many. Jesus. Okay. Actually, wait. Is there a, is there a bad ending here? No, that's too early. That's too early. That's that's too early. That's a dumb question. Too early. Unless I'm not rigging today's poll. Yeah, I can tell. I I can see that. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> All right. Damn. You fought. You fought for number. You fought for number two. Okay. You fought for taking a detour. Okay. You fought for and you won. All right. Well, let's stop by somewhere else on my way home. It's not that I don't want to go back. It's just going to take some time to get used to that luxurious mansion. Maybe I'll visit Arihiko's house or swing by the bookstore in the station. I don't like home! Wherever I end up going, as long as I keep it under an hour, I have to be able to make it home after curfew. Alright, alright, good choice, good choice. I don't know where this leads us, but we'll see. Hmm. The back of my neck feels strangely hot. It's going like swollen and numb. Wait, this is... Was that it? That was it. What that... That was it? What... That was it? Are you fucking kidding? That was it? I'm also go back and pick the other one then just to see it. I must just go back and pick- Yeah, I must just go back and pick the other one just to read the dialogue then. Fuck, man. If that's it. Fuck, man. Alright. If that's all we get. Okay. Sure, I'll just go back and pick the other one then. <laughs> okay. Fuck it. It's, it's no difference. Alright. <laughs> Cosmetic tools. I'll go straight back to Toto Residence without taking any detours. I promise I'll get Dabby back before sunset, after all. It's not like I'm afraid of the news about the serial killings, but you never know what can happen in life. Our children will have suffered serious chest injuries just by going out to play in the city. If this can be avoided, then it should be. Drink boy, you spin. <laughs> the illusion of choice. <laughs> Holy shit, the stock definition of the illusion of choice. <laughs> God damn. So how the fuck do we end up there with this choice then? What the hell? If we walk straight home, what happens? No shot, it's the same cutscene. No shot, it's the same cutscene. <laughs> what the fuck? That previous scene is us going home. That's the way home. You go up the road, and like a little bit further in, and then to the left, and then you're home. How the fuck do we end up in the city? Comatose theme starts playing. <laughs> the illusion of choice. Oh my fucking god, that's perfect. 
Oh, that's perfect. Why come my neck feels strangely hot? It's becoming swollen and numb. I wonder. Maybe that's the reason why I feel like I've lost track of where I was going. Right, because he gets he gets right he gets fuzzy hit. He gets uh fuzzy brain and gets lost. Right, that's why. Okay. Night spills across the city like leaking water. I kinda forgot the way home. He literally said, I kinda forgot the way home, shit. The hustle and bustle is incomparable to that of the morning. The headlights of cars pass by. Crowds of people are discord and swallowed up again by the station. There aren't many school uniforms to be seen now. People striding up and down the street are wearing all manner of clothing. Instead <sighs> of my seat on the bench. It's about time I get going. That's why I ain't no reason to go there. I turn and head up downtown. Bro is dawdling around for no reason. Go home. No, not Epic Games. I didn't mean to open that. Stop! I didn't mean to open Epic Games. Go away. Alright. <sighs> Don't get to a side street of the main... Off of the main drag. This is a street. There is a blind spot between the buildings. There are no people here. No noise. No signs of movement. It's only... A rustling sound. Emanating from deep within the alley. The light from the vending machines is blinded. Superfluous trappings of modern civilization. Croganus wouldn't with this place. They're too dazzling, so I walk past them. Seem to gloomier and more fitting the darkness of night. Toward a nearer, more secluded darkness. I put a hand on the rusty iron fence. If I open and go deep enough, I'm sure I'll find. <laughs> Someone stops me in my tracks. This is slightly dizzy, but I've returned to my senses. I don't know what's going on. Why did I come here? I'm still trying to continue on into the depths. Oh my god, it's Lunay! No, this is actually... Mio. Get fucked. I turn around, I see an unfamiliar girl in front of the vending machine. She's standing there in a way that screams, I've been trying to buy some juice, but I'm stuck without any change. Uh, perhaps because I feel guilty about trying to go deeper into the alleyway, I just go with the flow and hand over under you. Mio, but secretly, Lene. Oh. I mean, I guess... I guess if this is like an invertible jacket where you can like invert it and it shows a different color, maybe the inside of the jacket is the yellow one. You know? She inserts the hundred yen into the vending machine and presses the button. Go picks up the can and spat out by the machine. And she's just wearing a wig. Uh -huh. She frowns, looking disappointed. You guys are not cooking. You're correct, I'm not. Yes. Look at my phone. The clock mercilessly reports at 7.40 p.m. Crap. We have 20 minutes left before curfew. Panicking, I sort of dash out of the alleyway. But then... She stops me again. She throws a can of juice at me. Flustered, I managed to catch it. But isn't this the one she bought? Sound displeased, she briskly walks past me. I'm going to move on too. I'm pregnant to our run. Failing to make it back by curfew on day one would be disastrous. Not just an older brother, but as a human being. No matter what it takes. I need to get back to the mansion before the family heads lightning strikes, lightning strikes me down. Rami. Hooray, we made it. 
We're home. Ah. I openly close the front door as quietly as I can and discreetly enter the lobby. This is my return in a voice that is neither too loud nor too quiet. It's 8 o'clock. Was one minute ago. I ran as fast as I could from the front of the station and just barely made it in time. But honestly, it's so hard that I feel like throwing up. The slope is too much for my heart. It was fine on the way to school because it was downhill. But I forgot that it would be up on the way back. So, hey, hey. The light in my darkness. Ah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Aki is taking the trouble to call me into her office. It's hard to guess that she's in an incredibly foul mood. What I do, bro? What you mad about? Ah, not true. Ah. What the fuck? And there you have it. My sentence was handed down instantly into her office. Give me a chance to plead my case. Wait. I hadn't thought about that. I guess I'll be receiving my monthly allowance market from now on. And to think it's already been reduced. You can rejoice, father. Naka grew up to be an even stricter family head than you. So your allowance is reduced. I did. For sunset, but the choice was an illusion, so it didn't matter. So it didn't matter. Uh, see what um see what um what um what what happened what what happened is that um as I was walking you know I was I wanted some tacos there I wanted some tacos and I went to get some tacos and they were really good so I want another one and then another one and then I just kinda of forgot. Next time, the number of toes will be. Eddie, what the? What the hell? Number of toes? Yeah, so they got three and that's the best you can do? You can't even say use one? Like, bro, is not cooking. Then Asigo came up on me and we started. Man, is that, bro? Like, bro, I was going home and then I wanted some tacos. I wanted to go get some taco quick and then Asihiko showed up and we just started, you know. You know, you know, right? We're just talking and shit. I don't, I don't have an excuse. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, good. Luckily, we already ate the tacos. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> Luckily, we already got them tacos and the... The curry bun. We already had the curry buns and the tacos. We're good, but... Dick move, man. Dick move. Dick, dick move, man. What a tyrant! She's being this harsh even though I made it back in time. I should have to think what happened to me if I had broken curfew. For punishment for you, Akia, is I'm taking your violin! What the fuck, man? I trudge across the lobby, heading for my room. I attempted to appeal my punishment, but she wouldn't yield at all on denying me dinner. Akia challenge, you don't care, but she'll buy another one. On the plus side, my allowance was only cut by 10%. A major victory for my dignity as an older brother. <laughs> break curfew, I'll break you. Pr that, yeah, she will. Fuck. I'm taking your- I'm, I'm taking your office, Akia. That's it. Huh? Hey, Kohaku-san. That's on my way back to my room. Kohaku-san calls out to me. She's hiding in one of the nukes in the corridor. Just so he comes... Rationally, 
much the same way as she did this morning. Well, I did! I did! It was before curfew! I did! Maybe not sunset, but like, come on! いくらなんでも一日目なら言うことを聞いてくれるだろうってもうありえないぐらい早めに帰ってきてたんですから。帰ってきてたって誰がですか。そんなの決まって。いえ、なんでもございません。Wait。なんでもございません。Wait。W
Uh, they sound like the... I mean, they always look super delicious. I haven't had them before. But they always look super good. I'm not waste the time. I decided to... Which one have we done? Who the fuck is that? Wait, who the fuck is this? Oh, that's Kohaku. Right, which is number two. Right, because we have to watch TV. Right, 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 alright. Which means... We don't get to do the TV. We don't do the TV thing. Thank God. All right. W rice balls. Uh, one. You went to Kawaku's TV, yeah. One or three. I like balls in my mouth. Of course you do. Actually, both of these are very good. Really? I mean, if both are like very good, we'll do both. We'll just vote which one we do first. At that point, you know, yeah, fuck, we'll do both. We're still in the early parts, right? So we'll fuck it, we'll do both. Yeah, we'll just see which one we do first. I'll give you guys the illusion of choice as well, like I felt. <laughs> but I mean, I said that you'll vote which one you do first, so you know, make sure it still counts. The vote still counts, you know. Because after this, you know, we're not... How does... Once we, once we finish this route, I don't think we're coming back to this game. You know? I think that'll be it. Maybe to do cleanup, but that won't be necessary. I don't have boss mouth. You just said you did. 50-50? Yo, someone was waiting. Someone wanted a coin flip. Alright. Heads is number one. Tails is number three. It's time to flip the coin to see which wins. Alright? Are we ready? Make your prayers now. Make your prayers now and hope it's what you want. Because we flip a coin in one, two. Hold on. One, two, three. I dropped it. It's fine. Actually, I didn't drop it. It just fell to the ground. And it is... Tails. Number three. No, I'll just stay in my room. I do want to see what the Akka conversation is about, so yeah, we'll do that too. I well, relaxed in my bath earlier. It made me ashamed to lose this feeling of satisfaction by wandering around. <sighs> Run myself onto the bed. Yes. Go to study and read the diary, uh, there's no choice for that. We'll do, we'll do the other choice, that leads us to Akio, so, what about that? I'm about to bed again in a panic. It's not like I was doing anything wrong, but I still felt like I'd been caught in the middle of some mischief. Come on in, come on in. Hello, Hisui. Hey. ベッドメイクに参りました。あ。シキ様にはお見苦しいものと存じますが、しばし作業をお許しください。Bro, what? Wasn't your bed already made? How the fuck do I read this word? <laughs> How the fuck do I read this word? <laughs> the fuck does that mean? In the chorus? That is... That sounds weird. What the fuck does in the chorus mean? What the fuck? For what? In the chorus? How? I think someone else make the bed as luxury as far as I'm concerned. Whatever. From the core. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, now I see it. However, I'm not over the past two days that saying so would only bother her. Yeah, go ahead. I screw her to the corner of the room so as not to get her in her, get in, get in her way. 
Hmm. After a brief pause, the suicide sets to work on making the bed, and it's done in a matter of minutes. But it's now so neat and clean, you'd think it was brand new. No, 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 that's fine. Sui bows slightly and heads for the door. Kofra stops so I can thank her for making the bed. I plan on grabbing her, but end up reaching out and touching her shoulder. Ah! No touchy! No touchy! No touchy! Cheeky, no, t uh, no touch. No touch. A flash. Sweet hand knocks mine away. It took me by surprise. But it seems like it came as even more of a shock to her. Because <clears throat> I'm feeling a little too relaxed after that bath. I was acting like I would, I would back in the Arima house and let's judge how familiar I could be with her. You ever just look at a artwork and feel sad? You just look at like art and feel sad? That's me right now. Sue's shoulders are trembling feebly. It's a bit excessive, but still, I'm the one who frightened her. She would have stopped just because I called out to her. But I got the feeling a second ago that she wasn't going to. You did not. You, you didn't offend me. Yeah, didn't offend me. I didn't look so it. I offended you. She reacted as fast as a kendo practitioner would. This were a dojo. I'd be applauding right about now. <gasps> Is Sui Blush? Oh shit. No way. Is Sui Blush? Hold on. Is Sui Lawrence a gaze in embarrassment? Thank goodness. Seems she understood that I was praising her. Listen, listen. We don't get to see- I don't get to see this Hisui often, bro. I don't get to see this version of Hisui often, alright? There we go. Alright, since we're good. Oh, yeah. And in the end, it wasn't important, I just wanted to thank you. It doesn't feel like the right time to say I just wanted to say thank you for making my bed. Cute Sui. Exactly, bro. Adorable. I need to come up with something else to talk about. That's right. Wait, what? Because she's ahead of the Toto family, that's probably why. That's very far. はい。ですが、今日のように夕方に帰られることはまれです。1日の学業のお済みになった後は習い事が終わりなので、お帰りになられるのは決まって7時前となります。That's kind of sad. And for her age too, it's like you're stuck to all of this. Like you don't get to be a kid. That's that's kind of sad. Foreign language? Today's schedule? 
She has such a schedule every day? I guess her dad always forced her to practice a lot in the past, so I shouldn't be that surprised, but... I feel bad for Kuhaku. <laughs> to considering Kuhaku to run around with Hisui constantly and always be on top of things with Akiha, Kuhaku really do be the MVP. And she's looking out for me as well, somewhat too. Like, bro, she the MVP for real. Or she's looking out for Shiki, bro, MVP. I'm floored. It's just her mind and body that I'm made of steel. She's got a lifestyle to match. Got it. Got it. She helped the suit like a lot? That makes sense. I mean, get her prepared for the whole thing. Excusing herself, the suit bows and leaves the room. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Then again. It's, that seems like a lot, man. And if he has a spoiler, of course, of course. It's probably the higher ups in each department that are in charge of keeping the business running. No, the day, she still has the final say over all their decisions. Yeah. It's a mixture of guilt to genuine respect. The Aki Arman was quiet, cheapest girl who always followed me with anxious eyes. But now, she take over from her father, while still managed to live her life as a student. Yeah. She has become the Tono Shiki of the day in seven years. Aki has become the Tono Aki of the day in those seven years. Seven years is a long time. Roughly half of my life so far. Also, this mansion during the most important period of her life. She was growing from a child to an adult. <laughs> Not of the obvious, I still trying to beat myself up over it. Not that regretting it now is enough to make it right. I seriously wonder if I could have eased Aki's burden a little if I'd stayed with her these past seven years. <coughs> All right, actually, I want, see, I want to see what the other one was now. I want to see, cause that was good. I want to see what this one was. I want to go back. I want to see it. both were actually, but that was really good. Uh, skip, brother. Skip, brother. I want to see. I want to see. So even one day, I've already offended Akia. Like how there's some lore behind- There really is, yeah, and that, I liked it a lot. Something that's definitely really caught my attention with Tsukihime as a whole is just there is so much fucking lore. I feel like... With anything Nasu has ever brought up in the story, there's an answer for it. Or there's something to explain it. There's something to give it more substance than just, it's this, deal with it. There's something to always give it more- that, It's so good. It's not like this is going to make up for my actions, but I want to have a casual chat and get a bit closer to her. Or at least, I want to try and break down some of the painfully prickly barriers that currently stand between us. That said, timing is everything. It would be appropriate to visit a girl's room out of the blue, even if she's your sister. This is also true. Maybe? I'll have to ask Isu or Kuakusan next time I see them. For now, right. I'll go drop by the living room. I guess we'll, uh, since there's an ad, I'll take a little break because... I've just been kind of blasting through despite the big ads because that's been old content. But this is new, so uh, 
I'll let the uh, parade go on through. Oh boy, it's November 1st. You know what that means, chat? Since it's November 1st, you know what that means. I guess supposedly likes to relax her after dinner, so I might be able to catch her there. I just did! Okay. I just did have a- I just had a drink, man. There we go, another one. Oh, brother! No! Gato. Or Goto, Gato, Goto. Without my permission, cock block. Not even that. It's just, I wouldn't call him a cock block. It's just like, bro, I don't like you. <sighs> Step for the urge to cry out in surprise. Psyche Goto, the bandage wrapped fiend that I met yesterday, is in the living room. Konbanwa, Psyche Goto san, deした. Psyche dake de i. Oh. I know I drank without my permission. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The war of you speaking it. Shut up. He replies with a mocking smile playing about his lips. And what? Psyche Goto is my punishment? Great. When I rise into the bait, my response to the platitude. I still don't know the first thing about him. We try and figure out what kind of person he is so I know how to handle him. Ah, That's what we should do. Something war Nani? Something worse. Kokoa, Yokan Toshino Skurimo, Totiga Motsurekimo Svarashi Monodaga, Kono Kimari Dakea in Tarakanai. Well, good thing that's not good thing we don't care about your opinion though. Tono can toss you. You're the Karameo Sobukirina. Bro, who the fuck are you? Sorega Nanika Yodo Shisawa Yuriwa, Haruka ni Mashina Kisoko. Bro, what does he mean by that? Bro, who the fuck are you? <laughs> My own problems with how the lights go out, but I could summon some snapping guy at him. Dang it, Rumpa streams? I'm already doing one tomorrow. I'm I'm already joining I'm already joining one tomorrow. I'm not I'm not playing the first game. I mean I actually did enjoy the first game somewhat. I'm not going through them, those games again. I'm already done. I already went through the first one and halfway through the second one. I'm not. We're not do no. No. I don't know. Ask Kieran. He's the one who's running. He's the one who's streaming it. Ask him. If you want an answer, ask him. He's the one who's streaming it. This insults aimed at Makihisa. To me, it feels more like he's insulting Akia, the new tone of family head. No. I will simply refuse. Bro does not want his Final Fantasy 16 stream. That's crazy. It's in 9 days and you don't want it? Damn man, alright. It's in 9 days and you don't want it? Ah man, okay. That's your punishment then. You don't get Final Fantasy 16 you've been asking for. Alright, man. Sure. Alright. Okay. Alright. 
No Fate Fridays, that means no Katawa Shoujo. It's probably continuing that past Wednesday, this Wednesday coming actually. So, you know, that doesn't happen. Well, I mean, alright. Alright, okay. right, can I shoot you now? Cool. Yeah, cool. Can I have a gun and shoot him? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. 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 Yeah, I'm I'm returning to my own house. He's saying he lives here? But yesterday, he definitely said he wasn't a relative of the Tono family. Chuckle. I could go to get up off the sofa. He seems to be planning to leave the living room.今夜は部屋に資料を取りに来ただけだよ、四季君。仕事を終えてというのは嘘だよね。そうやの都市開発はこれからだ。まだ片付けなくてはいけない案件が山ほどある。今夜は根津の晩という奴さん。私が牧久
よし寝るか Get to eat a l right man you got it I mean I, I'm really hungry too I might get something to eat real quick actually yeah I'm gonna something to eat because I'm actually really hungry I know I shouldn't but uh I guess I'll edit this one Cause like now, think about it, I'm actually really hungry. Holy shit! Uh, so I will be right back. All right, there we go. Sorry for the delay. Oh, that hits the spot. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's at the that's hitting the perfect spot. Jesus, that's good. I <coughs> I needed that. Holy. Let myself out loud, even though it's something that ought to come natural. Take off my glasses and close my eyes. It was only when I was a child that I had trouble sleeping. Now, if I close my eyes like this, I can fall asleep just like anyone else. Honestly, I used to be the same. There's something out there. Each cry ringing out, then dying away like a breaking wave. It's a hell of an animal. Too high pitched to be a wild dog. It's ringing in my eardrums. It's howling at the moon? It's an unpleasant sensation. The hell is headache inducing? The sounds don't stop. The echoes ricochet around my skull. Like bullets fired directly into my brain. Oh, yeah. oh my god, bro! Oh, I open my eyes and put on my glasses. 
can see how the dog howling outside my window. The clock has just struck 11. To say it's disturbed my sleep would be putting it mildly. I know a dog's howl coming from all the way outside the mansion. If this keeps up, I'm not gonna get any sleep. Get out of bed and change back into my school uniform. Everyone else is having trouble sleeping too. I'm mad in the mansion, so I guess it falls to me to go find out what's going on here. Oh my god! That's so annoying, holy shit. Oh my god. I forgot how annoying this is, Jesus. I leave the mansion. Looking outside still. What was after the night had frozen over? What is hiding behind the clouds? The light from the street lamps appears to have congealed like paint drops on a canvas. Hmm. Oddly enough, the howling sounds quieter now that I'm out here. Maybe it's just starting to die down? Whatever the case, I don't care. The voice is more painful to my mind and eyes than my ears. Just listening to it is not to put my heart into overdrive from a sense of visceral repulsion. Sorry. My legs feel heavy as I start walking. I start to lose feeling in my fingertips. And suddenly, I lose my breath is white. The air around the mansion is full and even quieter. It feels as if everything has come to a standstill. Sigma is the only thing that moves in this frozen world. Hmm. I feel thirsty for some reason. The meandering road next to the tall walls around the mansion stretches out endlessly into the night. Warm my numb fingers with my breath, I walk in the direction of where I assume the dogs are gathered. Thoughts come to a halt. There's something on the street light in the distance. Something that I've never seen before. Something that ordinarily I should never see. Something inexplicable. The solving dog. What is that? Drawn blade. What is that? Dissolving how? What is that? A piercing blade. What is that? It's a scream of a madman. Maybe that of a typhoon. After the air spilling sound waves have passed, the howling is gone, as is the dog itself. It's like it never existed in the first place. It dissolved away, not leaving as much as a trace. <laughs> is this an illusion? Is what I'm seeking now a hallucination or a dream? Then is this an illusion? There. In the streetlight slicing through the darkness, stands some incomprehensible thing. Is that a coat? The coat wearing silhouette shows no signs of noticing me as I stand frozen in place. I'm, I'm thirsty. My whole body is sweating. The night air sticks to my skin. It's not like there's anything wrong with my surroundings. Everything feels stifling. I come at the bottom of the ocean. This hole in Holland. 
heard the sound of a distant foreign country. Sudden dizziness assails me, and I almost pass out. All my strength in my staggering legs and manage to stay on my feet. And then. All I see before me is the usual quiet road. <laughs> A sigh of relief. My lungs greedily taking in the air. I didn't realize that at least I haven't been pro breathing properly since I left the main gate. I don't hear the howling anymore. I leave the illusory fever dream I just witnessed behind me. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's trauma. I'm back in my room. I didn't see any signs that anyone else had woken up. I was the only one who couldn't stand the dog's howling. <laughs> what was that? My head still hurts. Look at my fingers. I realize they're trembling. My whole body is shaking. My back feels so cold. Describe how it feels. My spine's been ripped out of a place with an icicle. I feel dizzy. I'm lightheaded. Maybe it's just my usual anemia? My consciousness is being dashed against the ground, brain and all. Amidst all this, there was something unsettling. If you don't wear my glasses, you can still see those lines. <laughs> Saki won't lab with me. Ah! He won't lab with you? Damn. You hate to see it. Unbelievable, honestly. Unbelievable behavior. Oh, it's on purpose too, damn. I mean, nausea overwhelms my eyes. It's the pent up weight of the seven years I spent trying not to look at them. My mind is overwhelmed by the sight. I feel sick. Combined with the dizziness from, my, from the anemia, I think I'm about to throb at any moment. I really don't know. As long as I keep my eyes open, I can't help but see these scribbles. Yes. Somehow make it into bed. Yeah. In that case, I should just go to sleep. It's the quickest way to negate what I'm seeing. My body won't even do as I tell it. I'll just stay, stay as I am, still as a corpse. I just need to go to sleep, like a papa with broken strings. I'll... Mm -hmm. Wait. Is it almost time? Day 3. Inversion Impulse. Wasn't this the day where it happens? Is it almost time? For the CL route? Sensei once told me something. She said that what I can see are the lines along which things are most easily broken. Use the body at use the body as an analogy. I'm like joints prone to fracturing. Or soft eyeballs. If you run a blade along the lines, there's no friction, no resistance. I can sever anything, without the slightest force required. You don't limit that to the human body either. These lines are equal on everything I can see, whether it be vegetable, animal, or mineral. Yoku, 
壊れてしまうという運命を内包しているの形がある以上こればっかりは逃れようのない前提でしょ It's a l c o h o l In other words, what would sell us a parental patchwork that could unravel at any moment? Since these scribbles run across the ground as well, that means there's a chance that it, it too could suddenly come apart and everything on it destroyed. At the very least, that's how it works in the world, I, I see. Oko? Now, Aoko. 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 Aoko, bro, relax. Bro can't even say her name right. I can't believe this. I did not say ow. I said Aoko. I don't know what you're on about. I, I said her name correctly, but I don't know what you're on about. I understood what she had meant. I gained a whole new level of appreciation for the glasses she had given me. Oh, <laughs> bro, what are you talking about? Bro, bro, going crazy. You're going crazy today. What are you talking about? I mean, who wouldn't? If I had to see these those lines all the time, I wouldn't have been able to go on living at all. Ryogi would like a word with you on that. She can do that just fine. Alright. How do you say her name then? How do you say her name then? Mr. Um, actually. What good is there in being able to see these things? It's lines along which things are most easily broken. This world in which nothing is guaranteed to hold together. There's no single benefit to it, is there? Oko, bro. That's even worse. That's even worse. When I wake from my revere. Since in the morning light on my closed eyelids, I keep my eyes closed as I run my hand over the nightstand. What the? Where are my glasses? Feeling uneasy, I grew up around the right hand side of the bed just in case. Immediately found them. I usually keep them on the left hand side, but given how bad my headache was last night, I suppose it's not out of the question that I mixed them up. Sometimes people's names have silent letters, bro. Sure, man. Sure. My G and A are silent in my name. There you go. The G and A are silent, bro. It's me. The fuck you mean, sure? <laughs> Name's me now. Accept it. The G and A are silent. My name is Sign Letter. Bro, which one you. Which one? You got a few names here. Your actual one, Marlucium, or Kumi. You got a few here. Now that's Gumu. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Put my glasses before opening my eyes. So when we're watching, it should think it's a peculiar tech. But I like to avoid looking at the lines as much as possible. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I turn to face the sound. I see that someone was watching. It's a young maid standing against the wall. She's so unobtrusive, I didn't even notice her. What a change. She's been there for a while. My Kumi's name? Bro, yeah, it's just Kumi, bro. The worst. Where the fuck is a silent letter? It's just Kumi, bro. What? She must have come to wake me up. To wake me so that I wouldn't oversleep. Same as she did yesterday. You really shouldn't have. Oh, 
どうかお気になさらないようお願いしますあれ、listen、come、can you be a bit serious please? You know, cummies sounds a lot worse, right? <laughs> you, know that, how, you know how bad that sounds, right? <laughs> you, you are aware of this, right? So he solemnly bows. But as she does so, she suddenly stops moving and swiftly raises her head. Oh, they don't, they're not meant to surprise me. Oh, okay. Thanks. She's a man with something suddenly off about her. Quite quite put my finger on it. No, right, that's why I made it. That's great, man. It sure comes to bring forth the things that we like about you. You know? She said, the performer do this and made flawlessly. But I get the sense that she isn't really accustomed to socializing. いや、翡翠には何の問題もないと思うよ。まだ慣れていない俺が悪いんだ。ん<笑><笑> Bro, I don't know about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Never say that shit again. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I forgot what I said. I know I just said it, but I kinda just forgot what, what the fuck did I say? Wait, what was it again? What the fuck did I say? I mean, I know what I said, but like, how do I repeat it? <laughs> Bro, actually stupid. Get out of bed. I guess I'm wearing my pajamas. I'm pretty sure I changed into my uniform when I went to investigate the howling. And I collapsed straight into bed when I came back. Oかしいな。俺、制服のまま眠ったと思うんだけど。制服。はい。あのままでは体に悪いので、姉さんに来てもらって寝巻きに着替えさせていただきました。Chiaku strike me strip me naked. Or half naked. She explains the situation as if it were nothing out of the ordinary. I see. She changed my clothes for me. Sleeping uniform won't necessarily make you sick, but it would make your uniform more wrinkled, and there's no denying that pajamas are more comfortable. That extra detail is just what you expect from a pro. Wait a minute. Here, uh. I'll listen to that in a second. Actually, let me just listen to that. Who fucking cares? Comes to bring forth the things that we comes to bring forth the things that we like about you. That comes to bring forth the things that you like about you. Man, I'm funny. Oh fuck, I'm funny sometimes. I'll admit. You all admit. Past me is pretty funny. So five minutes, two seconds ago, me actually. Let's see. This clip was. I was clip. Two minutes. Ago. Me from two minutes ago. You're funny as fuck. Or like two, three, three and a half minutes ago. You're funny as fuck. Kys. Well, I'm not sure what that means. Change my clothes, please. Kieran, what the fuck? Oh, Kieran, what are you... What, huh? That's... Bro, you just sat... You just sat down, and that's what the first thing you say? Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? You just sat down! Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? Change my clothes, please? That's not what it says! It says change my clothes? Question mark? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I need to examine my pants and underwear. The pants are from a brand new set of pajamas. And my underwear also seems to be fresh off the rack. Hi. 
何でしょう気を使ってくれたのは嬉しいんだけどこれからは何としても起こしてくれ着替えっていうのはほらやっぱり自分でやるものだし Now, You don't smile this off but who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I'm so embarrassed by what's happening I can't help but avert my gaze She was simply nods at me her expression blank 学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制服はそちらに畳んであります。学校の制
Actually, she belittled me, belittled me for the fact that I wake up at six at seven forty-five anyway. So like, I would not be able to live in this house. I have to fight to stop myself from pointing out that eating around seven o'clock is perfectly normal. And again, there's no damn thing that's normal about this house. What time do you get up? Freak! You're a freak! Five o'clock? You're a freak! That's what you are! When the fuck do you go to bed? Wait, if you're usually back at seven... And you still do stuff after that... When the fuck do you go to bed? Cause you're a freak! Exactly, bro. What the fuck? You a freak. Seeing your act like that unthinkably abnormal answer is par for the course as taking something wind out of my sails. We'll have to see, he says. Stop being dry? Uh, right, man. That's Kumi's. That's Kumi's job. But, okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's that's his the name Kumi. The I is silent, so it's Kumi's. Kumi. There's an S at the end. Kumi's. His words, not mine. Never heard such a perfect response. まいりましたとは何に対してですか？いや、何でも。入院しても、そんな早くに起きてどうするんだ。<laughs> I can probably end up. Why the fuck are you up so late? So early? Oh, you're You didn't say that part. No, no, no. You strict. You, you never mentioned the Twitter. You never mentioned Twitter, bro. I'll scroll back. I got. I'll scroll back. It's, it has a sound eye, and it's only come ease. So, you know, there you go. I was just calling you what you wanted to be called. Cummies. Okay. I'm never late for school. I'm never late for school. Relax. Jeez, she's prickly as ever. Unfortunately, having she said was also alright. So, I don't really have any room to argue back. So natural fuck had to be concerned about the reputation of the Tona family. In fact, the family had, she's obligated to do so. Yes, I can't promise that part. Mid-sentence. I remember what happened last night. I'm not the type to stay up late, but if something keeps me up all night, then it's all the same in the end. なあ、秋葉。昨日の夜のことだけど、ここって毎晩会わないのか。はい。あ、だから昨日の夜の話だよ。あれじゃ秋葉たちだって眠れなかっただろう。さっき読みだ、ファッカー。何の話かって、犬
ごはくもないでしょ Wait, you like. I swear, like half an hour ago, you said you were getting food almost. And that shit is still not done? Holy fuck. You'd rather starve to death. You would much rather starve to death than just make food. God damn. Bro, come on, man. If you're hungry, you should make food. Don't, don't, don't be lazy, bro. You should make the food. Simple as that. I'm not scolding you. I'm not scolding you, bro. Relax. I'm not scolding you. It's just when you're hungry, you should get some food. Don't dilly dally and make it worse. If you're tired, you should sleep and not make it worse. You know. I want you all to stay in good health, bro. If I was supposed to keep my promise of staying alive to play Red Garden in like 20, like 50 plus years, so do you guys too, alright? That's that's all there is. It's not scolding, it's just make sure you all stay in good health, bro. Turn up. Both of them have denied it. I'm no longer so sure about it myself. Why are you bringing that up? I was just saying. I, I was just saying. It was just, just, it was just to add to my point that I'm not scolding you. Alright? It was just to add to my point. There was no specific reason as to why. It was just to add to my point. Thinking back on it. it doesn't make any sense that I'd be able to hear howling. There weren't any dogs outside in the street. I'm pretty sure there was nobody in the street. I'm sure to believe that what they said is true. Maybe it really was a dream. Probably. Bro, she thinks she's funny. So this smile plays across Akia's lips. Bro, what the fuck is that? You're so funny, Akia. I'm laughing. Okay, gracefully leaves the living room. That sleep thing is my choice? Nah, I suggest you sleep when you need to. Give me a small bow. Kondasan also leaves the living room in order to go see her master off. In my personal opinion, you should sleep when you need to. I wanted to play metal, so that's what it, I did. That's fair, obviously. Can't stop you from doing that. But, you know. I mean, there's times where I know I should sleep, but I don't. So I guess I'm a hypocrite. Having breakfast in the dining room. Or dining room, I can't speak. Dining room. I go out to the lobby. Sweet trails after me, carrying my bag. I told her I was capable of handling my own bag, but she insisted on carrying it at least as far as the door. 
Seems to have a weak spot not only for Akia, but Hisui as well. Hmm. Second thought. It would be more accurate to say I have a soft spot for Hisui. You know, it's 5 a.m. See, that's bad. See, that's like, that's... Bro. <laughs> you do you, man. I mean, you do you, bro. And I'm losing to Akia because everything she says is correct. And so I can't come up with any valid counter arguments. It also doesn't help that Tony Akia is simply that ranks Tony Shiki. But the suit is the complete opposite. I'm technically in a position of power over her, but I don't think I could actually wield that power to my own to my advantage. I don't know why, but when she stares at me, I feel like listening to Whatever she has to say. I was balling, so I don't regret it. Fair enough. I heard a flurry of footsteps as Kakusan comes rushing from the second floor. Hmm. So he steps aside as soon as Kakusan arrives. あ、ケザは指揮さんにお届け物があるので、屋敷に残らせていただいたんです。デリバリー。お届け物って俺に。はい。昨日有馬家の方から荷物が届いたんですよ。No well. Well, I, I know what the gift is. Obviously, I know. I know what, I know what the gift is. I remember. <coughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Yay. Kogosan hands me a thin wooden box, about 20 centimeters long. This doesn't weigh much. Bro, what the hell? Why the fuck did M Makihisa leave this behind for him? And why did it come for the Arimas? Now that's hard to believe. Who would Tona Makihisa the one who kicked me out of this mansion seven years ago leave me a parting gift? My foot is done? Oh well. Hmm. is staring intently at the wooden box. She's acting like a child with her heart set in a toy. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> no, she is a child. You're a child! Yes, you do. Of course you are. No, you're more than just a little curious, you mischievous maid. What? Wooden box opens with a hollow sound. Inside is a thin iron rod, about 15 centimeters long. Hmm. It isn't particularly fancy, it shows no signs of being very well used. It shows signs of being very well used. I can't read. He must have really hated me if this antique is all he left me as a memento. Plus, I'm sure the iron bars my father worked with were thick and more rugged. rugged. Kozan <laughs> takes the iron rod out of the box. Honestly, the coolest kind of knives. With a mechanical click, your blade about 10 centimeters long springs out of the rod. Huh. It really is a knife. Oh. It's not. Huh? Oh, your food. Food's not done yet. Damn, man. Clarkson retracts the blade and hands me the knife. Yeah, I figured, I figured, I figured, bro, I figured, bro. She's right. There's some words carved into the bottom of the grip. 
Give it like 10 more minutes, it'll be done. Guarantee it. The character for 7, and next to it, the character for Knight. Nanatsu Yoru. What does that mean? Nanatsu Yoru. Wait, is it bad if I looked that up? Wait. Is it bad if I look up what this means? Because I'm kind of curious now. I didn't question it too much before, but now I'm curious. Because now we're doing the second. I was not the second run. Some of these early portions are really like. I'm really picking up on these early portions here. Nanatsu Yoru. Nanatsu Yoru. I know Nanaya says it a few times. He says Nanatsu. I don't know if he says Nanatsu Yoru specifically though. I know he says Nanatsu a lot. Go ahead. Alright, bet. That shows some interesting bit of lore. <clears throat> so, yeah. Once that was a spoiler, per se. But that sure was a interesting bit of lore I just learned. Leaning around, I see Sui has been silently peering at the knife from behind me this entire time. <laughs> Yeah, it mentioned just. Let's see, what did it say again? I, I, I'm not gonna click the, the link to actual full page. A relic of the Nanaya family named Nanatsu Yoru. Hmm. A relic of the Nanaya family. Hmm. Interesting. See, that's a good. That's a good bit of lust, like. Obviously, that's not. Something I should know yet, but there's enough groundwork that just me start thinking, right? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Can't wait to learn more. Ah. Sorry, I just missed it. Ah, no. That attendant is so beautiful. It is. It is pretty. It's pretty. Beautiful. This is beautiful. You wouldn't? Damn. You're in our thoughts would disagree. I don't know if you're in our thoughts would disagree. I don't know if you're in our thoughts would disagree. I don't know if you're in our thoughts Maybe this isn't such a bad memento after all. You're fucking sick. I'm funny. Yeah, you are. Yeah, okay, you are funny, bro. Fuck, man. Stop being dry, you spitting, because my throat is fucking dry. <clears throat> I have something there, I don't know what's going on. I know my mom's got a, my mother's got a cold, but like am I catching it too? No way. No way I'm catching it that quickly. Jesus. Not that many people named their knives. Whatever it is. It's definitely an antique. Guess what? What? Chicken butt? I tried to play to put the knife in my bag. It's a violation of the Weapons Act, but hopefully the authorities will let it slide just for today. Show it to Arhiko later and brag about it. Well, assuming he actually bothers coming to school. 
お時間はよろしいのですか Yes。まずい、そろそろ行かないと間に合わないか。Guess not。それじゃあ、小白さん、届け物ありがとう。What time is it? One. Kakashan humbly accepts my gratitude and waves us goodbye. See, I wanna. He wants a burger? Yo, you spin. I wanna end, but like. I was told today, day three is when CL route begins, and I like, I wanna get to it. I wanna at least get to it before we end stream. Fuck. Alright. I explained the front gate of the mansion. Now this is an unusual flurry of activity. Huh? あ、それが今朝方あちらの路面で結婚が発見されたそうです。あ、ライダー。結婚。血の跡ってことか。はい。屋敷の塀にも血の跡がありました。Right. フォトデバルダーシュデイ。それって人が死んでたとか。データボーガーポストアナウンスドイエ。発見されたのは血の跡だけだそうです。うん。フロダーランスアロングザイーストサイドオブザプロパティ。イスティアリアウェントチェックオ
but it was still very nice. It was still just a nice conversation. Compared to this one, which was very boring. This one with the quack was extremely boring. And, well... You. <laughs> but yeah. I'm... What? Quack about it. Wait, did I miss something? Wait, what's going on here? What's... What's going on here? I didn't get a choice. Is that's not the, is that the beginning of the the route changing? Is that what that is? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, questions to be answered for another time. With that being said, thank you so much for joining. I had a lot of fun. Again, once again, this was a very fun session. I'm I'm really looking forward to starting the CL route to next Monday. Exactly, next week will be Sukihime, which means we'll finally start the CL route. Finally, and it's it's looking to be really good. It's looking to be really good, and I can't wait. I've had so much fun with just these little snippets so far, so I can't wait. And uh, for tomorrow... Not yet, not yet. For tomorrow... Will be the return of... Katawa Shoujo, which for those who don't remember, or those who weren't here... When we... When I reached stream day number 69... I thought it'd be fun to play something a little more... On the... Risky side. And at the same time... Something that's not too unfamiliar with what I already play. So I figured Katawa Soldier was perfect for that. Until I realized it takes hours to reach the risque section. Where the day when the number 69 would have come into play. Because you know, that's the nice number. So we didn't actually reach any of that. And it turned into just a very... How to describe it? It's about disabilities so how to describe the experience it was it was an experience to say the least and for those who missed it they'll get to partake in the experience tomorrow if you all choose to join me obviously so i hope you do that'd be great because the game's very whole it's a very wholesome game right it's a very wholesome game has its, it, have, it has its somber moments, but a meme stream, there you go. I mean, you say that, but then something serious happens, and it's like, oh shit, you know? For now, it's, uh, for the moment, it's a meme -y stream. But anyway, yes, that has been all for this one. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all the same time, same place tomorrow, for our... Slightly extra long stream because it's a Wednesday, so we can do slightly longer. So, can't wait to see you all done. Bye!